Oh, cool. Um, going back, I was uh, I was actually known as a basketball player. I grew up, you know, playing ball. Had the whole um, ambition going to the NBA, things like that. So I attended Farragut High School as like one of the top players recruited out of eighth grade. Um, and we just basically took the ground running. A lot of people know me from just, like I said, just having that basketball dream. And then I kind of transcended once I got into the whole um, the day job thing. You know, um, fast forward, going through college, playing ball, things like that. Got into the whole um, day job when I came back home. And then I just transcended and wanted to kind of get into the fashion game. So I had to kind of go through the whole branding um, aspect as far as like what people know me as. And then from there, it just kind of found my niche in the game and branded myself as a fashion designer. Oh, my inspiration tend to come like, from within. You know, I kind of just kind of articulate my feelings and my concepts from my artistic views. It come from just culture aspects, sports, music, influence, things like that. And I gravitate towards the greats, you know, things, people who came before me that done things of the niches that I've like, um, that's from like the varsity jackets, what they represent. So just kind of expanded my whole little vibe, created my whole little lane, things like that, and kind of branded myself um, to having like a, such a longevity type of brand. Well, growing up in Chicago um, has really like grounded me to kind of like learning how to make a lot of ways out of no way. You know, we not really such a city where we can embrace one another, especially within the um, fashion and the, you know, entertainment business here. So it's one of the things where if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. So I kind of use those type of aspects and those values I learned here and kind of let that resonate when I kind of go in and out of the city. You just have to prioritize your life, you know, understand it's going to become a lot of sacrifices along your journey and kind of connect with the like minds, I should say. Kind of gravitate towards people that has experience from like graphic design and seamstress, um, things, whatever you feel in sourcing, photography, whatever have you, and kind of um, make them to your vision in a sense so you all can kind of work as a unit. And that's what the Chicago Playground brand represents. It's a, um, a platform for different talents of art to elevate off um, one's um, talent, per se, and kind of create one big project. So you think about when a lot of us was all kids, we all was good at something that we were special at. And we put all that together, we had one big, um, one big um, fun time. So I think as adults and young adults, we're doing the same thing. You, you know, as a videographer, a blogger yourself, me as a fashion artist, we connected, and both our platforms are gonna benefit off what we bring to the table. So if we keep that thing as a unity, as a culture, like, who to say? Our secret is really just try to um, find your niche and what really is your sense of lifestyle that, that comes natural towards you. Kind of bounce off that spirit from within. Like I can't mention enough, kind of connect with the like minds, the people that believe in what you got going on. And really just kind of go back to the roots of the culture and really kind of do a lot of things on your own can kind of set the tone. So once you articulate your whereabouts, people kind of resonate that energy and kind of help you out. Really now is basically to be influenced to the, um, the next generation of young culture. I really see how people really gravitate to what I'm doing and my platform, what I stand for. So now I'm on the verge of going on speaking the game and kind of letting this message resonate toward the youth and kind of pre bringing people along the journey and kind of let them find themselves upon their different talents of art. My style is basically just, um, I would consider it just natural, you know what I'm saying? I'm real liberated, so it's about how you feel within the inside. And like I said, art is nothing but the inner special shown on the outside. So clothing is just that aspect anyway, you know? So if you can kind of wake up in the morning, just kind of let your clothing resonate how you feeling, that's the approach that I take into the fashion game, even within the style myself. Bomb and Boss is just something, someone that's elegant, confident, and really about they, um, their art, their talent, or whatever it is that they're about. Someone that's really secure and really has a sense of direction about life. Oh man, I'm just basically connecting um, with a lot of industry people within the um, entertainment business and kind of just bringing my whole vibe of this varsity jacket wave that I got going on and really doing a lot of product placement and brand awareness. And I'm also working with a big brand called Jay Damari as we like really partnering up and kind of going into some fall collections as well. So it's just basically me kind of like being an artist within itself, bringing my platform to different talents and kind of creating that whole little um, vibe. At Chicago Playground, Instagram Chicago Playground, or online at chicagoplayground.net. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much for having me here. We have the pleasure of hearing your story and putting you on our platform. You have been efficient for our boss to approve, and we just want to have the best success within your career and within your world of Chicago. All right, likewise. Thank you. Appreciate it.